What's up everyone, it's the Knife Saw here and today we hit 500 subscribers so it is time for a giveaway. And right now I'm going to state the facts here on how you get entered into the giveaway. So for the people who want to move on with their lives, they can go ahead and do that. And this is a US only giveaway or if you live outside of the country, you have to provide me with a US address. So let's say one of your family members lives in America but you don't, you can have me ship it to them and then whatever happens with that package after I ship it to them, I am in no longer control of that. So I can't take responsibility for something that I have no control over. So anyway, the second one, in order to enter this giveaway, you have to subscribe to the channel. And then third one, like the video, please. I can't really tell who's liked the video or not. And so I guess you don't have to, but you know, it'd be nice, I guess. And the fourth one, in order for me to actually decide who wins, you have to comment down below something. And what I chose for this giveaway is your most recent knife purchase or one knife that you want next. So let's say you don't even have any knives and you want another knife. Maybe you want one of these knives that I'm giving away. I don't know, but comment it down below. If you don't have any knives, if you don't want any knives, just comment something. I don't care. I use a random comment picker at the end. I will filter out all duplicate comments so uh commenting more than once does not benefit you in any way so let's get on to the giveaway prizes so the first one is the kaiser mini sheepdog there will be two giveaway winners for this one and this knife just the quick specs on it it's a smaller knife rocking 154 cm blade seal with a g10 handle it's a liner lock made in china by Kaiser and yeah it's a really nice little pocket knife and it is just a very good utility cutter this grip is one of my favorites you can really just go to work with this sorry if I'm having a hard time flipping these knives I recently cut my finger pretty badly on my Protec SBR after sharpening it but anyway this knife has a really good action and there's no blade play in it at all so you know if you just want a really fun knife to fidget with just barely loosen up that pivot and this knife will be super fun for days the detent is a little bit light but I can do it with no risk whatsoever and then the next knife that I'm going to be give away, giving away is the Free Tiger what's the name of this FT903 in D2 steel with G10 handles, another liner lock. So anyway, I recently got this knife for my 300 subscriber giveaway, but I decided not to give it away because uh, Amazon took like two months for me to actually get it. So I figured I'd save it for my 500 subscriber giveaway. But man, the fit and finish on this knife is kind of amazing. I didn't originally review it because it's I it looks like Ganzo font. And I don't review Ganzos, that's just my opinion. A lot of people like them, and I don't blame them because this fit and finish, it is perfectly centered. The lockup, no blade play, no lock rock at all. It is just a very solid lockup, very nicely fit and finish knife. And look at this action. It is just very smooth. This could be fun to play with. The only complaint I guess I could have with this is that the detent is a little bit strong, which that actually is really nice. Like, this knife is hard to fail. Like, yeah, I failed it there, but... It's pretty hard to fail, and it's just a very, very good action. And yeah, that these will both be solid knives. I'll also throw in this pry bar. Don't really know who I'm going to be giving that one to. But anyway, so these are the knives that I'm going to be giving away. And so now I'm going to go into a bit of a channel update talk. This isn't really going to be all that much about knives. But anyway, I just want to... I keep saying, but anyway, sorry about that. So um, uh, on at the new year at the end of 2019 i came out with a channel update video that i had just hit 100 subscribers and i was super ha super happy about that that was actually my goal by the end of the year to hit 100 subs and i did and right now that doesn't seem like very much at all but the reason that i was happy about that was because i hadn't really taken the channel very seriously at all and then once i hit 100 subs i kind of got my stride and i kind of started really caring a lot more about my videos i got a new setup i got a tripod to hold my phone i got a piece of wood that i stained and i got two lights around me and i'm sitting at a desk anymore originally i was sitting on the floor with my phone propped up on like this metal bar of a weightlifting equipment it just wasn't very good the lighting wasn't great but I started taking it a lot more seriously and <laughs> I kind of hit puberty I guess and so you probably were tired of hearing my squeaker voice from back then but anyway so I really improved my just the overall quality of life things for my YouTube channel and I started buying a lot more knives some of the knives that come to mind when uh I uh, when I started getting more seriously, the ZT0562 Ties, Civivi Elementum, Protec SBR, Spyderco Para 3 Lightweight. Actually, that was before. That was 2019 that I got that one. But I also got the Hogue Ritter, 
I got the St. Nick's Knives PM2. I got a Sabenza. Wow, I still can't believe I got a Sabenza. I also got a Microtech LUDT. I got tons of good knives this past year, and I've really just grown a lot in my knife interests and in the knife world. And so, and I've also uh, met some good friends through the knife world, and yeah, it's been really good connecting with a lot of people out there. But anyway, at the at my channel update at the end of 2019, my goal for or I said my I really wanted to hit 200 subscribers, and I originally that was my goal by the end of the year, and but then I changed it to 500 subscribers because I figured 200 subscribers just wasn't all that much, and I really wanted to hit 500 subscribers by the end of the year. Well, I hit 200 subscribers within the first two months of the year, and so that was really good, and I just hit 500 subscribers in August, so we still have many more many more months left in the year, so maybe I'll hit a 1k by the end of the year, I don't know, but that wasn't my goal, 500 subs was my goal, and I'll, I guess I'll have to come up with a new one by the start of 2021. So I guess that's all I really have to say. Shout out to everyone who has subscribed to me, who has done anything for the channel, really. And doing something for the channel is just you guys who sit here and watch one of all of my videos. Maybe you just comment here and there. I really, really like to read your comments. And I also really like to say words more than once, I guess. I don't know. I've done multiple takes of this video. So I've been saying really, really, a really, really amount of times. But anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching my videos. I hope that I have more success to come and bring you guys more knife reviews in the future. So if I had to answer my giveaway prompt of your most recent knife purchase or one you want next, my St. Nick's Knives exclusive Native 5 Lightweight was my most recent most recent knife purchase. And the knife that I want next that I have the money for that I am on the hunt for is the Hinderer Fire Tax Spear Point. So if you got one, please let me know. I will I will pay for it. And yeah, I'm really ready to move on and get that my first hinder. I don't want an XM18. I want a fire attack. So that's it. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you are new. And I'll see you guys in the next one.